stay tuned to the end of this video for a special announcement. Woo! Now that we're done with all those clips, which there have been a lot, we can finally go over Rebel Season 3 and say what might be in it, what we expect, and what we don't expect. So if you haven't seen Rebels yet, or you think it's too much of a kid's show, I will say that if you liked Clone Wars, you're probably going to end up liking Rebels at some point. It starts off just like Clone Wars, a little bit more slow and kid themed I guess you could say and then it gets darker and more adult themed as time goes on. So with that being said, for all of you who have not seen season 2 yet or finished season 2, a little bit of spoiler alert, um, but Star Wars Rebels ended season 2 with Kanan getting blinded by Darth Maul who of course is back and who is trying to take Ezra on as his apprentice. This happened while Ahsoka and Darth Vader were having their confrontation all in a big Sith temple. The battle ended with the escape of Kanan, Ezra, and Maul, and the whereabouts of Vader and Ashoka are unknown, although we can assume Vader has returned back to the Empire, and Ahsoka is most likely at the Sith Temple or escaped. Now that we've seen these clips, the first thing you'll probably notice is that Ezra Bridger got a haircut. Oh my gosh, he finally got rid of his iconic wavy kid hair, and he looks like an adult. On top of that, he has some major Jedi ass kicking skills. In season 2, he was obviously still a Padawan level in his strength as a Jedi. He was still learning how to control the Force and honing his lightsaber combat skills. And it's obvious from these clips, he spent some serious time preparing to fight another Sith Lord again after seeing Darth Vader. So like I said earlier, if you're like me and you love the Clone Wars due to its ever evolving darkness and atmosphere. You'll notice Rebels has progressively been doing the same thing, getting into more darker themes each season. And from these clips, definitely Ezra highlights that mentality because you can definitely get the sense that I feel like this season is going to be concentrated on Ezra struggling to balance the light and the dark side. In the clips alone, Ezra has gotten rid of his stun blaster it seems like, and he was using a more lethal blaster. He also brandishes a new green lightsaber instead of his blaster saber combo he used to wield. We also see him slice a Mandalorian in half, or I mean it could be his armor, but either way, it's something that Rebels has not really shown with Ezra. And in his latest clip, they definitely were trying to show his dark side because he used the Jedi mind trick to turn a walker pilot against his squads, definitely killing stormtroopers, which again, all... Ezra has avoided in the past being portrayed in a light like that so they're definitely aiming for a darker feel for this they're definitely going for Ezra's struggle between light and dark now you might be saying killing stormtroopers isn't really new territory for Star Wars Rebels but just like I said it's the fact that Ezra is doing it and it is the fact that he's doing it in an open and nonchalant manner as say someone like Sabine or one of the other members of the crew who are who are older. It's new territory. Ezra has always been portrayed in a lighter manner, always having the stun blaster to stun stormtroopers, rarely rarely ever killing them, which has been Ezra's kind of kind of point his character. But we'll get back to Ezra's little Sith self when I go over the overall plot expectation I have for this season because the big reveal everyone wants to see on screen has arrived Thrawn any EU or Legends fan knows who Thrawn is and is one of the only non Sith villains to probably be ranked in popularity against the Sith villains Thrawn is a Chiss, a militaristic alien race with blue skin, and Thrawn specifically, at least in the extended universe that we know, or Legends, is a tactical badass who outsmarts anyone who gets in his way, including going up against Luke Skywalker, Leia, and Han Solo. He excels in war strategies, and in the EU, worked for the Empire. It seems like they're keeping our Chiss friend's main story similar as far as his talents and alignment. As far as his role in Season 3, I would believe he is a main or secondary antagonist tasked with defeating Ezra Bridger and his team, kind of like Agent Callus was in the previous seasons. And no, Agent Callus isn't going away, I just think just he's 
the chist is going to be another asset. Thrawn is going to be an asset because, of course, Kallus can't capture them on his own. As far as some of the other characters go, um, I think Kanan. I'm hoping they focus on him, but I, from the clips and trailers, it doesn't seem like he'll get much focus or improvement. Um, obviously, he was blinded, and I'm hoping they expand upon him training with the Force, uh, only being able to utilize the Force now, more relying on that than his lightsaber skills, kind of like Kota Rom from uh, the Force Unleashed. If they do it right though, a lot of the other characters will have to take kind of a backseat in their storyline to focus on Ezra's character development, as I said earlier, because they can either set the path of him becoming a gray Jedi or taking the well-known path of dark side corruption and finding his way back to the light again, which I hope it's the former, not the latter. And we haven't seen a gray Jedi since Ahsoka Tano. So Ezra will be a nice addition to that. The season will definitely be darker than the last, and I'm hoping we will get a return of James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. He was magnificent still after all these years. Um, somewhere in the season again, he doesn't need to be a main character. I'm just hoping he will come back now that they've had him once, obviously, and after what happened in the second season, I'm hoping they at least expand upon that. Um, but definitely Thrall, Thrawn and Darth Maul will be the main antagonists, it seems like. And speaking of Darth Maul, it seems like he's still on his goal in turning Ezra into his little dark side apprentice. Um, I expect him to actually have a decent sized role in season three as well as Thrawn. If season three doesn't have too many filler episodes like season two did, balancing multiple characters shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hopefully they don't go the route of season two and having too many filler episodes that reduce the main plot storyline. I can easily see Thrawn becoming a filler villain and just like Agent Callus, not having much of a main plot advancement in most of his appearances, which would be a significant waste of Thrawn, especially since everybody's looking forward to him and this could be the good stepping stone for him into his own live action movie. Season 3 also might further Ezra Bean fans as they get more alone time together and now that Ezra is being portrayed in a more mature light can definitely be a reasonable expectation for him to be shown having feelings towards Sabine. So that, all Ezra Bean fans, is definitely a plus. But back to real stuff, not Ezra Bean. Um, during the course of the season, I can definitely see Ezra training under Darth Maul to learn from the dark side as he tips more and more towards it and learning its power. We don't know what he learned from the Sith holocron after season 2 because he did open it and how much influence it has on his current state. Overall, this season looks to be great for Ezra's character development as well as hopefully Kanan's and giving Maul a more cemented role in this universe as a villain and also giving Thrawn his stepping stone into the main canon. You can expect more amazing battles and fight scenes definitely and hopefully more cameos from other characters such as Yoda like we got last season or maybe even the Emperor himself as the Rebels grow to be more and more of a nuisance. He will eventually be on Rebels, I'm positive that, and hopefully they get the voice of the Emperor from either the movies, Ian McDermott would be amazing but obviously that would also be a hard score to get. Hopefully they at least get the guy that does it in Battlefront. Thanks for watching this extremely longer video than I thought it would be, guys. Are you guys as excited as I am for Season 3? I'm pumped. What do you guys think will happen? Let me know in the comments, and remember, through victory our chains shall be broken. Ezra will see the power of the dark side. Trust me on that one. Hey guys, the giveaway video will be up around the 28th of September and I'm going to be giving out the Target Special Edition of The Force Awakens, which has unique content for any Star Wars fan, or the Death Star DLC to one lucky subscriber. When the video comes out, it will have the instructions and probably just be comment on it, blah blah blah, or something, and a lucky subscriber will be picked at random. Also, you now have the chance to win two things if you're a lucky subscriber, because I'm also doing another giveaway for 100 subscribers. So tell your friends and family to subscribe, and you might win two different things, and they can enjoy this content too. So it's a win-win for everybody. And thank you for all of you who already do subscribe, and I look forward to making more fans like me of Star Wars happy as time goes on and we become a bigger community. I love all of you guys, thanks for watching, and of course, through victory our chains shall be broken.